Hey everybody, I am Scotty J. Welcome back to Rock Titan Live. We got some tremendous guests with us right now. And it's just proof that with every good man is an even more awesome woman. That is the case that we have right here, folks. She is a singer, songwriter, author, and a healer. She's got a brand new single out for her EP, Big Love Right Now, which the drummer is none other than the legendary Def Leppard drummer, Mr. Rick Allen. And we have Lauren Monroe with us. Guys, how are you? Hi. Uh, nice you. introduction. Thank you. Well, I pride myself on that, Rick, you know. But, uh, you know, the last time we were talking, I guess you were in a limousine and you were headed to one of your art gallery exhibits for the art that I know that we have shared with your fans numerous times. And uh, we absolutely love that. But of course, today, today is different. We finally get to meet the, the woman that keeps you in line. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I know yeah. it has to be. She's the talent in the family. Trust me. She writes brilliant songs. Well, and that's why we're all here, of course. We're talking about big love. Lauren, honestly, I'm not just blowing smoke because Rick is here or because it's you. When I heard big love, I was like, wow. I mean, like, you are truly a seasoned musician. This isn't like just some hobbyist type of, you know, production here. How long have you been singing and playing guitar? Since I was six. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's amazing. And and the one other thing that I really took away from Big Love specifically, it it was so reminiscent to me, like being on that big stage, um, let's get together by the Young Bloods or even imagine by John Lennon. Big Love has that message. You know, and 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 that's the time that we're in, right? I mean, we are in some seriously chaotic and turbulent times. If we ever needed a message like what Big Love brings to the table, it's now. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that way, too. Now, one of the things I thought was interesting, though, guys, is that this song, you actually wrote this a while ago, but you're just coming out with it now. Was this something that you intentionally kind of shoved in your hip pocket, you know, and you were, like, anticipating something like 2020 was going to unfold, or what was the strategy behind that? Well, uh, uh, it was written in 2016, and it was during the time of the presidential campaign that summer. And there was a lot of the energy that's out now starting to percolate in the country. There was a lot of division happening. There was, you know, the opioid crisis was starting to appear really dominant. We had a problem. There was fires going on in Australia, and, um, you know, this, there were apparent environmental changes. So this started, um, you know, the the imagery for Big Love and the video back then when it was written. And uh, I was looking for a producer, and I found uh, Jim Scott. And we, we started the, uh, the record in January 2019. And we decided to roll things out slowly with an EP. Um, we were supposed to release it in, in May. And then we decided to hold things back because of the virus. Um, and release things in June. So it just, it was, it was just very um, auspicious. I think the timing of everything and, and, you know, as I always say, it is perfect timing. So, and everything, you just have to trust it. Timing, as they say, is everything. Now, as far as this entourage that you have around you, um, making these songs with you, how did that whole cast of characters get put together? Surely you could have found a better drummer. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm really yeah, blessed. Steve that, Peroni. Yeah, right. Well, Steve, <laughs> uh, my producer, Jim Scott, rallied, and he and he got all of these amazing players, and, and half of them knew Rick, but uh, didn't know he was involved in the project until we all got together in the studio, uh, and um, it was great. It was a great surprise for them to see Rick was involved, and it was wonderful for me. I mean, half of the guys... I didn't know their backgrounds, and I'm I'm glad because I think I would have been a little nervous, you know, uh, playing with these legendary people. Uh, but uh, but they turned out to be really humble, really talented, and uh, the collaboration was was magical for me. I would imagine now, Rick, for you, playing with your wife, performing with your wife, playing music with your wife, how is how is that? How is that whole? Uh experience for you is is this something that you guys have done together for a long time or was this really the first effort that you guys have, have worked on 
Yeah. Ever since we first met um, back in like 2000, 2000. yeah, we, uh, I remember we played in a coffee shop together. Oh, yeah. Um, remember that? We I was did. playing Jemba. We did some bol- shows in Boulder. Yeah, we've been playing since we met. Uh, but mostly I would just do benefit shows and, you know, raise money for various charities and we would play. So it wasn't a, a full-time thing when I uh, met Rick. I've had bands in the past and did small tours and uh, it was, I've always been musical. But this is the biggest launch we've done with, with music. We released an album in 2008, very soft release, just on iTunes and didn't really share it with that many people. But this time, um, I'm in a place in my life where I'm really ready to, to get behind what I'm doing on so many different levels that it was the right timing. Yeah, no, right on. I love it. And I know that a lot of this, um, or I should say any of the proceeds generated from Big Love is going to your charitable foundation, of course. You've got uh, Project Resiliency and uh, Raven Drum Foundation, yes? Yeah, that's That's great. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, it it means a lot to us to give back. And um, I think think a lot of uh, the, the... the message behind the song really helped with that, didn't it? I think so. I think, you know, Big Love has a message of, of being uh, a higher place of empathy and, uh, you know, crossing crossing the lines to, to meet people with our similarities instead of our differences and really looking at that as a way to overcome what we're going through right now. I could not agree more. I mean, like I said, you know, when I told you I compared it to, you know, Let's Come Together by the Young Bloods, you know, John Lennon's Imagine, I, they wrote these iconic songs, they're iconic now, you know, to really send a positive message, a loving message, a healing message, you know, during very turbulent times. And obviously that is what you're doing here. One of the things I think that's really interesting about your background, Lauren, is that of a healer. So you are really kind of tuned into the whole, you know, spiritual, holistic, well-being type of element. That's a big part of your life, yeah? Yeah, it has been. It's the dominant part of my life. And um, that's where I come from. The music comes from that place, Um, which uh, it's been very interesting becoming more involved in the music industry and also coming from that place. And before it's been an obstacle because I'm not... um, an industry type artist. But now I think it's also the perfect timing because the message is so infused with the times that I think it's easier for people to open to the healing part of things because they need it. Yeah, yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. Uh, In terms of the songwriting process for Big Love, did you write that song, Big Love? I wrote it with a friend of mine, Mark Hayes. I've I've written several songs with him. And, um, you know, it was one of those... Just magical. It came very quickly. I came to him with the chorus and some of the verses, and we we put it together um, and completed the song really quickly. So, yeah. So, Rick, what do you think now? Now that you are married to a rock star yourself, you know, it's like the shoe is on the other foot. You know, I love it. I just want to put her out. You know, get her, put her to work. You know. Go out there and, you know, entertain the folks. You know, it's like, seriously, all my paintings, you know, it's all going to charity for your foundation. You know, it's time for you to step up to the table, you know. <laughs> Let's make some music. But uh, yeah. Yeah, like I indicated, this is part of an EP. And some of the other songs that are on there is Lie, Get Happy, When the Rain Comes, and Joshua. Now, are... I know that these are out there on Spotify, you know, people want to play them and stuff like that. Is is the entire EP album, is that available for purchase now, Big Love? Yeah, uh, there's five songs on the EP and it's on all digital platforms. Okay. So it's available and, and viewed to the album coming out in November and another EP released in September. Wow. Now, you know, I always do my homework. I always do my research just to see what all you guys have going on. And if I'm not mistaken... You had actually indicated another in another conversation that you have quite a few more songs that you've already written, performed, mastered, like they're done. Is that correct? Yeah, this uh, Jim and I recorded two albums, and uh, the second one is almost done. And I, I have a lot of other songs that are, are singles. That, and I, I'm a songwriter, and I've been doing it for so long. You know, you just kind of write things and demo them and stick them away and 
And now uh, we want to bring life to them and share them. So I'll be releasing things pretty consistently over the next couple of years. And, and performing, I, I really, that is the thing I love the most. Yes. And uh, well, hopefully life will get back into action in 2021 and we could get on a stage. That would be a magical thing. Now, Rick, for you, sir, are you playing percussion on all of Lauren's music? Um, we did, uh, I did double drums with uh, Steve Ferroni on a few songs. And then uh, we did three drummers on um, Big Love. Uh, which, which uh, actually, the total number of drummers was uh, was six, 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 six on yeah, that. Six. And uh, Lauren, she's uh, she's an amazing percussionist, so she uh, she plays the djembe on that. And uh, I think I played I think I played uh, percussion on most most of the songs. Okay, all right. Now, how about backing vocals? When are we going to hear your vocal chops? You're holding out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm putting yeah. you on the spot here, of course. <laughs> now, yeah. in in terms of where all of your fans can go and and buy your album and check out your music, that's all on LaurenMonroe.com, yes? Sure, yeah. Wow, so you are the one and only Lauren Monroe. There is no other <laughs> Lauren Monroe. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but yes. uh, only she, me. she's pretty unique. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, as are you, sir. And, uh, you know, obviously... This is this is Lauren's time here, so I'm like kind of ignoring you a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I don't. But, I don't uh, but uh, I, no, no, this this is fabulous because we actually we haven't caught up in a long, long time. You're supposed to be out on the tour trail. Correct me if I'm wrong. With like I don't know some band called Molly Crew and Poison, and Joan Jett, who was born in the same hospital as me in Pennsylvania. Like you got other things to do, don't you? <laughs> You know, you're supposed to be out there playing. I know, I know. Um, I mean, for obvious reasons, you know, we, we, we couldn't go out and do it. Right. Um, so, you know, we just rescheduled for 2021. Right and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make good use of my time. Uh, it's great that I can I can spend this time with Lauren and, and help her with, uh, you know, whatever she's doing with the, with, with her record. And uh, to be honest, you know, I haven't had a, I haven't had a break in, since 2010, so uh, so it's actually a, a, a nice time to just uh, just drop drop the anchor over the side and just stay put, you know. Man, ten whole years of you going like nonstop, and you still have all your hair. Where do you get off, man? You know, it's like it's not, it's not real. I had hair 10 years ago. I don't have it anymore. That's just not fair. Well, I know you guys got to get going, but, um, you know, kind of a parting thought that I really want to finish on because I know this is so much a part of both of your lives given what we're in right now. But, of course, you know, we're talking about big love. Big love, everybody. We'll have the links here. We're going to share the video. It is a beautiful song, an amazing music video. Uh, I just absolutely love it. Uh, Project Resiliency having so much to do and the Raven Drums Foundation really having a root in PTSD not just for our veterans uh, but for so many other people and so many other walks of life dealing with different trials and tribulations have you found um, with the whole onset of COVID-19 that you guys have been active in that space at all have you experienced have you witnessed any kind of PTSD that those organizations are closely associated with we know that there is definitely impact on on veterans who are being are isolated right now, and also um, a lot of them coming out of incarceration right now because of COVID crisis being released from um, various penitentiaries that are now are being isolated and having to deal with a lot of their injuries that way. And we're in we're in relationship to various organizations that are helping them. And, and getting information from them and how and what we can do and and funneling some funds in to help them yeah it's, it's definitely impacting our veteran community and their families for sure yeah the isolation is really a, a, a killer um the one thing that uh, that we found to be really good is uh, leaning on uh, technology just in the same way that we are now right you know, so, so that you can reach out to people keep in touch and just, you know, just check up on people, check up on people that you, you, you know, you think about. Right on. That's a beautiful thing. So, uh, you know, one last thing. Big love. We got the music video out there, which is absolutely incredible. Can we be looking forward to any other official music videos in support of the Big Love EP? 
Um, there's lyric videos that are coming out to support the other songs. Um, but uh, and then behind the scenes video we just released. Yes, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You can see everybody drumming together and the process behind that. Um, was that the Instagram thing? Yes. I thought, yeah, it's, it was yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, I love that. I, I always love seeing the making of everything. I think that's very cool to be able to be in, invited into your world, you know, and see the whole production take place. Great job with that. Yeah, I really like that a lot. Yeah, cool, and then we did some live. We just recently did a live uh, benefit performance, just uh, acoustic. It was fun, and we'll be releasing that to you just to show everybody. Okay. A, bit, a broken down uh, version of Big Love. Yeah, it's cool to listen to these songs in acoustic form because uh, even though you know they're, they're simplified musically, um, the songs still shine. I mean, they're, they're just incredible songs. So, uh, so it is cool to listen to them like that. Right on, right on. Well, I would ask you what's next on the horizon, but uh, obviously none of us really know. And you've discussed how you've got some new music coming out, which is uh, awesome. And you guys, please just stay safe, stay healthy, keep making beautiful art, you know, whether it's music, whether it's writing, whether it's painting. Rick, do you got any other paintings you're working on right now? We're going to be looking forward to, uh, you know, another art gallery exhibit with some fresh work once everything lifts. I'm working on a Kurt Cobain and a Johnny Cash at the moment. Oh, wow. Go big or go home. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. I love it. Well, uh, everybody, everybody, we are here with legendary Rick Allen and his more amazing wife, Lauren Monroe. Make sure you go check out her EP, Big Love. It is beautiful. It's such a positive message that we need right now. And uh, I'm Scotty J on Rock Titan Live. If you enjoyed this, make sure you go out and subscribe. Sign up. Go check out Lauren's uh, YouTube channel and subscribe to hers as well. And, uh, yeah, that's what makes the world go around, everybody. We're out.